Hello lovelies, I'm Christina and today I'm giving you my Reading Rush TBR. Now the Reading Rush, as most of you know, is a readathon that is hosted every year. I've participated quite a few years now. This year it is from July 20th till July 26th, so next week. Bless you. <laughs> it's just my dog sneezing in the background. And from what I can remember, I have never been able to complete all the prompts, but I'm going to give it my best effort this year as the previous years. So let's jump into the reading challenges. Now I'm going to combine a few of these just because I know that I won't be able to have one separate book for every challenge. Uh, so the first one is read a book with a cover that matches the color of your birthstone, which I thought was kind of funny because I had no idea what my birthstone actually was. <laughs> so I am a November child and my birthstone is topaz or citrine. So yellow, perfect, my favorite color. So for that one, I picked Homegoing by Ya Gyasi. Probably butchering that name, so sorry about that. From what I know about this story, it is that it's about two sisters and their very different destinies and lives. So the first sister is sold into slavery while the other one becomes uh, a slave trader's wife. Very excited about this. I'm sure it's going to be quite emotional, but I've heard nothing but great things. So that's the first one. Now I'm going to combine challenges two and three. Challenge number two is read a book that starts with the word the. And number three is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. Now, most of you know that I'm a, a huge Stephen King fan, but there is a book that I haven't read and it feels like I'm a fraud for saying that I'm a big Stephen King fan not having read this story. And perfectly enough, this one fits under both of these challenges. And it is The Shining by Stephen King. I know, I, I should have read this a long time ago. I have seen both the, the, the old movie adaptation with Jack Nicholson and the newer one that was split into two, like a mini series kind of thing. And I remember they scared the heck out of me as a kid. Um, as probably all of you know, it is the story about Jack and his family who goes to the Overlook Hotel. And then the hotel kind of, it becomes its own entity and it drives Jack mad. Um, I'm, I'm scared of this as much as I'm truly excited to finally get to read it. I know it's been a long time coming and it's about high time that I do something about it. So this is going to be the one for challenges two and three. So if you hear some pitter pattering around here, it is my dog who is just trying to get my attention and he thinks that I'm an absolute idiot who doesn't give it to him. <laughs> but yes, the fourth challenge is read the first book you touch. So my bookshelf is very much um, a mix of books that I've read and books I haven't read. So it was hard for me to just touch the first book on my bookshelf. So I picked a little stack up here of books that I want to read and that are not like super chunky and I'm going to pick one at random. So where is it? There we go. And it is Heartburn by Nora Ephron. I don't know much about this story. So I just bought a bunch of these Virago modern classics just because I think they're absolutely beautiful. And it was kind of a way for me to discover new books that I haven't heard of before. But yes, this one says, Seven months into her pregnancy, Rachel, a cookery writer, discovers that her husband is in love with another woman. The fact that the other woman has a neck as long as an arm and a nose as long as a thumb is no consolation. Heartburn is a roller coaster of love, betrayal, revenge, and how to make the perfect souffle. 
So that sounds interesting, and it's not too chunky. It's it's under 200 pages, so that's that's good to add this one to the bunch because The Shining is quite a big book, and I really want to try to complete all the challenges this year. Um, but yeah, that's the one for challenge number four. Now I am going to combine challenge number five and challenge number seven. Number five is read a book completely outside of your house. Now I have a little seating outside of our apartment so I'm probably going to sit there for most of the time. I wanted to pick something not like super chunky for that as well because I want to be able to actually finish reading it outside. I might take a walk to like nearby park and sit outside there for a little bit, we'll see. Uh, and challenge number seven is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. Now I live in Norway in Europe, so the one book that I picked that goes under both of these challenges is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Gawaguchi. This one is set in Tokyo. It says, in a small back alley in Tokyo, there is a cafe which has been serving carefully brewed coffee for more than 100 years. But this coffee shop offers its customers a unique experience, the chance to travel back in time. In Before the Coffee Gets Cold, we meet four visitors, each of whom is hoping to make use of the cafe's time traveling offer. One in order to confront the lover who left them, receive a letter from their husband whose memory has begun to fade, see their sister one last time, and meet the daughter they never got the chance to know. But the journey into the past does not come without risks. Customers must sit in a particular seat, they cannot leave the cafe, and finally, they must return to the present before the coffee gets cold. Toshikazu Gawaguchi's beautiful moving story explores the age-old question, what would you change if you could travel back in time? More importantly, who would you want to meet? Maybe for one last time. Sounds super cute and interesting, and it is a little over 200 pages, so that's perfect. So that is my pick for challenges five and seven. And then we have the last one, it is challenge number six. It says, read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. Now lately I've been getting more and more into sci-fi, so I thought I would pick a book under that genre. So for this challenge I went with The Ghost Brigades by John Scalzi. This is the second book in the Old Man's War series, which I've talked about a few times on my channel. Uh, it is, the, I'm not going to mention what this one is about because I don't want to spoil uh, the first book, but the first book is a story about uh, a man who at the age of 75 he has lost his wife. He then enrolls into the army. They use his DNA to make a younger and altered body and then they send him off to war. So he has a sort of a payment, uh, stay as a soldier for 10 years if he can survive that long, which most of them don't. This is the second book. I love the first one and I can't wait to continue on with the series. So there you have it. Those are the books that I've chosen for the Reading Rush challenges. Looking at them now, I'm worried that I probably won't be able to complete all the challenges this year either, but I'm gonna do my very best. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you've participated before and if you've ever actually managed to complete all the challenges, I would love to know. I will link to all of the books in the thingamajiggy down below so you can go check them out if you want to. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button and that bell button if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video soon. Goodbye!